Hello, my name is David Malin, and I'm the instructor for Computer Science E1, Understanding Computers and the Internet at Harvard University's Extension School. You're watching one of our videos of the week. For more such videos or information about this course, visit us on the web at computerscience1.org. Enjoy the show. Hello. My name is Ray Diaz. I'm one of the teaching fellows for Computer Science E1. Welcome to our video of the week. In this installment, we're going to talk about home networking. Specifically, we're just going to talk about the basic steps you need to take to get your home wired and share an internet connection among multiple computers in the household. So what do you need? Well, first of all, you're going to need an internet connection. Uh, these days, with uh, broadband, high-speed internet connections being all the rage, you can uh, get that through either uh, DSL hookup or cable modem hookup from any number of com uh, providers, uh, Comcast, Roadrunner, uh, Verizon, AT&T, and so forth. You'll also want to make sure that the computers in your household are network capable. Uh, most modern computers that you'll buy these days and for the last several years just by default come with uh, networking capabilities. For example, this uh, our test model here, uh, the IBM ThinkPad uh, T60, uh, just happens to come with a networking port over here on the left-hand side. Um, other models, such as the Dell Inspiron 700M, happen to have its networking port on the right rear quarter. Wherever your network port is, it's just important to have one. If you don't have one, uh, you can, for laptops, buy a PCMCIA network card. It's just a credit card size device that slides into the side of your laptop. Or for desktop computers, you can go to any number of uh, stores, CompUSA, Best Buy, Micro Center, even online, Amazon.com, so on and so forth, and buy yourself a network card for your PC. Once you're all set and you have an internet connection coming into your home, all your uh, home computers are network capable, really all you need to do is uh, get a so-called home router. While in this course we don't endorse any particular brands, we just happen to have right here, for the sake of demonstration, a Belkin Wireless G router. Um, but any of the popular brands will do, Belkin, Linksys, D-Link, so on and so forth. And let me just show you what it looks like in the back here. What we've got is a couple of antennas for the wireless networking and some color-coded ports back here. This one over here on the end is just for power. That's just going to plug into the wall. This one over here, the green one, is going to plug into the internet connection provided by your ISP. Again, Comcast, Verizon, whoever. And these four ports in the middle are for hooking up your home computers with uh, network cables, uh, that is to say, wired. I'm just going to go ahead and hook this up and show you just how simple and straightforward home networking can be. I'm going to plug in my power. I'm going to plug in my connection provided by my ISP. And this looks like a kind of like a phone cable, only a little bit thicker. This is just network cable. You can get it from any uh, commonly found store. Again, CompUSA, Best Buy, Radio Shack, Amazon, wherever you might uh, find it most convenient. And here I also have another one for hooking up my laptop, in this case, to the router. And I'll just plug that in and plug this in. You'll notice here on the front of the router, several lights have lit up, indicating that I've got power, that I've got a connection uh, that is broadcasting a wireless network signal, that I've got a connection with uh, in my local area network or my home network, and that plug number one is plugged into an active computer, which is true, and that I've got a connection to the internet through my ISP. So did it work? Did we do it right? Let's launch a browser and find out. And let's go to Google. And that's it. That's as simple as and straightforward as home networking has to be. You have four ports in the back here. You can uh, 
in a wired fashion, hook up up to four computers, or with uh, another device, uh, you can expand uh, the the ports on the uh, you can expand the number of ports, and thus the number of computers you can connect, um, and you're good to go. In some of our other installments about home networking, we'll talk more deeply about some of the settings and configurations you can tweak to your heart's content, especially when it comes to wireless networking security. Just to reiterate. Wiring your home can be as simple and straightforward as this procedure. These four ports in the middle are for hooking up your home computers with uh, network cables, uh, that is to say, wired. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Can you cut out the part where I, I, I close the things and open them?